hey loves welcome back to my channel this is gloria home of skills so this video is teaching how to make profit in your bath soap making so i got about 18 bars of soap using only one liter of oil so if you want to know how i made it stay tuned and keep watching a heart speed to the city streets we begin so i am measuring out the water that i'm going to be using to dissolve all the chemicals needed for this production so please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel okay i am measuring out caustic soda so this caustic soda is used to form your soap so with the help of water um caustic soda and oil you have made a soap so other things that is added to soap are called additives so after measuring it i'm going to dissolve it and set it aside so i'm taking water from the water i measured out i'm going to use part of it to dissolve caustic soda so after i dissolve it i will set it aside for it to cool down a little bit you can see i have stirred it and it turned into a transparent liquid so i'm going to set it aside and measure the next chemical so this is sodium sulfate that is what i'm measuring right now Sodium sulfate serves as a hardener, so I'll be using it to harden my soap in this production. Some people use it as thickener in their liquid soap, but in bar soap, it starts as a hardener. So I took some water out to dissolve sodium sulfate, so after that, I'm going to set it aside. This is so hard to dissolve. So the next one is soda ash dense. There are different types of soda ash. They also have soda ash light. But what we are using today is soda ash dense. So measuring it out. So after that, I'm going to dissolve it and set it aside. So the spoon I was using is not uh, giving me what I want, so that's why I changed to this. So I finished dissolving it and I'm moving in to measure my calcium. Mushroom harden your soap and it also makes it creamy but do not add it too much so that your production won't be chalky and after dissolving this I'm going to move to the next stage which is measuring and dissolving my sugar This is the last water that is remaining after I have dissolved all the chemicals but I, I removed uh, some water to dissolve my color so this is the last one that's why I'm using it to dissolve my sugar. So this is the color I told you about. This is white color white color is more expensive i think i bought this for 300 naira but you can get other colors for a hundred naira so you can you can put it uh, in your oil and stir it before doing your production but i choose to dissolve with water to get what i want 
so you can do what you like so this is PK oil it is called pancanel oil so I, I use the measurement of uh, palm oil and PK oil so our production has begun so I'm going to be adding in the caustic the dissolved caustic soda into the oil so like I said I told you guys I made use of pancanel oil and red palm oil bleach red palm oil i bleached this oil by myself so if you want to watch the video how to bleach your palm oil you can watch the video in my channel is the video is in my channel so if you don't want to get a thick trace of um of your soap you can just um, heat your oil a little bit for it to have a a light trace so this is it and I'm going to be adding other in uh, other materials with without this without adding all this you have already made a soup but if you want to make a profit like I said this is uh, the additives that you are going to be adding so the plastic uh, spoon is not uh, giving me what I want so I changed to this spatula so I'm going to be adding in the sodium sulfate what I added before was um, sodium um, soda ash dent so i just added this so the sodium sulfate so this is a calcium that i'm going to be adding you can add everything at once but i just choose to be adding it one by one for you guys to understand everything because my uh, so the caustic soda was not that hot i left it to be cold that's why it's not combining like so but i uh, we are making hot process so, so that's why i didn't bother myself to uh, do much so i'm going to be placing it on top of a double boiling method this is called double boiling method it's a process whereby you put your pot on the on the flame then add water then carry your your soap and place it on top of the pot so we are going to be using a medium heat for this do not use a high heat so that your soap won't boil because when your soap boils you, you the soap will not be a uh, that good so that it's preferable for you to use a medium heat so that your soap won't boil get so as you can see the soap is melting the soap is coming together so the next thing i'm going to do right now is when i stir it a little bit i'm going to cover it and allow it to cook i'm going to allow the soap to cook so guys please don't forget to like and share this video subscribe to my channel and also press the bell notification to stay updated unless i upload a new video so i'm going to be covering it right now and leave it for a while for you to um, cook. So I'm going to open it for the first time of covering it. So after that, I'll add in the color. After adding in the color, I will cover. Also cover it because the soap is not well done. So. So the last thing I'm going to be adding is the fragrance and the the sugar. Yeah. So I'm not going to be adding it here. I'm going to give it some time for it to um, for it to gel, for the soap to be done. So that's why I'm adding it last. Uh, but you can you can add it. You can add, but do not add your fragrance here. But you can add your your sugar so this is me adding the, the color so keep watching So I have opened it the second time to check on it. The color 
uh, is still remaining so I decided to add it again but it is preferable to leave it like this so that your soap won't become too colorful so I added it because I have nothing to do with it anymore so I just decided to add it here As you can see, the soap is coming together. The soap is looking so good here. It, you can see it's looking so creamy. So before you put down your soap, make sure that your soap is creamy. So I'm, I covered it the second time, the third time, and I opened it. So, so I brought it down. The, what I'm going to add now is sugar, the sugar. So like I said, you can add it when you are already cooking it, but uh, I prefer to do it like this. So I'm going to be adding in the, the last chemical, which is sugar. After that, I'll add my fragrance. Here is the fragrance. You can use any fragrance of your choice. The one for bath soap, they go to chemical store, tell them to give you the one for bath soap, they will give it to you. So that is the only thing, only thing that is different here because we are not using the same um, fragrance. So I don't want to show it here. So just transfer it into a mold and leave it for 24 hours and demold and cut your soap. If you want to know more about soap making, check the number on the screen and contact me. And also, if you need this formula, the number is still there for you to chat me up and I will give it to you. I didn't put out the measurements here because it's a business um, formula. So, if you need it, just chat me up. So I'm going to be testing the soap to know how it foams and after that I just leave your soap to dry off. Don't forget to like my video, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share my video and also press the bell notification to stay updated when next I upload a new video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!